And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Today we're taking a look, not a review of sorts, of the new Keyforge. This is the third set in Keyforge. Um, Worlds Collide. This is uh, just another set. Every deck in Keyforge is unique, so here's a million new unique decks coming with this set. The big difference in this one is, is they took out two of the factions, the Aliens and the Sanctum, and they added in two new factions, Star Alliance and Saurons. At the end of the day, I'm not convinced this means anything really, right? Uh, yes, there's still uh, seven different factions that are included in this game. There was seven in the last one. These decks are probably going to be just as balanced as the other ones are. Um, so you can mix the stuff and match it. But the new, the new factions will have a different way to play, and people are going to buy deck after deck until they get one of these new factions, or both of them, I'm assuming. That's what you want to do. So anyway, here I'm not here to talk about everything, just to show you some of the new stuff, give you some impressions upon it, and that's pretty much it. I am no Keyforge expert by far, but I do like the game a lot. Here's what's in the starter box. Okay, so what comes in the base set? You have your rule book, which has the new, there's a few new different concepts that are included with the game, and so this is a much better rule book than the original Keyforge rule book. A bunch of tokens, which you notice I haven't punched most of them out because, well, we already have a ton of these. I punched out some new ones that we need, Warden and Rage tokens. Then we got play mats that, I don't know, does anyone use these? But they look cool. Um, there's one for each of the two new factions, Saurians and the Star Alliance. So here are the four decks that I've got my hands on. Now, I'm actually a little sad here because there's two new factions, and I only got the Saurians in one of the four decks and the Star Alliance in the two of the decks. But hey, let's take a look at the one that has both of them in it because that's what we all want to see is new stuff. This is Little Ring the Petulant. Uh, I think it's my brother. Uh, so this Star Alliance is essentially... Star Trek people, kind of, sort of, that go around. But they have some neat things. This Hazardous here on her, where when she's attacked, she does three, and the people next to her get that. So I guess they're Hazardous because she's handing out guns to everybody. And then we got Commander Chan and Commander Officer Kirby, who has a Play Fight Reap. You can put out an artifact upgrade card. Uh, these people have a lot of things to do with artifacts. Of course, you want to probably get those in the same deck, and this one does not have quite a lot of those. There's a few of them. This, but this, even this one, you get plus one power and plus one armor for each upgrade attached to it. Well, I'd like to get some more. I like that the car is actually a creature. It's a robot. I guess it just drives around and blinks its lights at things. All right, let's take a look at the dinosaurs here. Sorry about that. Oh, that's the kind of deck this one's going to be. But... Look how strong the pterodactyl is. But it's actually not that strong. It does only four when fighting, but then hits four to the, the creatures next to it. I actually like it. It comes into play stunned, though. So that's problematic. Here we have exalting. So when you exalt somebody, you put a amber on that person. And when they're taken out of play, then you get the amber. And also there's enrage tokens, which can force people to attack. They're in the game. And I should mention, I think some of these tokens have the armor that you can put on them. Maybe it's not in this set. It is in the other deck. We'll come back to that. But you can see some more dinosaurs here. This guy is the Patrician. I didn't know Patricians looked like this, but he can capture one. And when he has Amber on him, Amber can't be stolen. That's pretty neat. I actually like this guy a lot. And that shows how useful politicians can be. The dinosaurs are actually not playing the way I expect them to be. And then we got other cards. I don't want to look at these too much, although Discombobulator is just fun to say. And some of the cards that you'll find from these other sets are are from the original sets and many of them are new. So here we have again the uh, Star Alliance. There's some more upgrades. There's that rover again. This creature can go anywhere in the battle line. I like that a lot. A nurse that can heal people. Um, Uncharted Lands. This one I like. Put six amber on it and then each creature can slowly reap that off there. Just a neat thing to have. It gives everybody in your thing, uh, it gives your Star Alliance creatures anyway, all reap. 
And here's Elusive, the first time they're attacked each turn, no damage. But this is what I really like. We have Chief Engineer Walls and Lieutenant Kirker, and then they each have their own specific gun. So they come in this set here, and Kirker's Blaster basically gives her wards, a ward token you put on somebody, and when you take damage, you remove the ward token instead of killing them, which I like a lot. That's pretty neat. It's kind of like shields. And Walls Blaster will stun people for each upgrade that's on Walls. Personally, I like to give Walls both blasters if I can. And then again, just kind of jumping through. Hey, look, Bad Penny. The Bad Penny shows up in all sets. I, I don't know if it does or not. Um, more cool things. There's Shorty, who's a giant, Blood Money, and Tremor. And now let's just take a quick glance through at these other decks here. We have Dissonant of the Diplomats Museum. I don't even know how to say it. Dissonantite? Well, whatever. So these are a lot of different cards. I'm sure you can go on the internet and find all these different cards that are, exist. You know, there's probably all the cards are listed out there right now. Ooh, a rock hurling giant. When you discard a card, you can do fair damage. <laughs> Throw those at the other people. Stuff like that makes me happy. This guy's throwing cows at people. Two to each neighbor of the creature he fights. You got a beef with me? No, sir. I, I really don't. And then finally we have the provably lying Ashley. I think. And again, these are all factions that you've already seen. So they took out two of the factions and added in the two new factions. And these are the cards that you get to see. Mega Ganger Chieftain. I was thinking it was funny how I have so many of these Ganger Chieftains in a deck, and they don't seem to, I don't know who they're in charge of. So maybe everyone's a Chieftain, but one guy's the Mega Chieftain, and he's the actual one. But I do like that you can ready and fight with a neighboring creature when you play him. He uh, tells that guy to get out there and fight. And a pile of skulls, which is always a happy, cheerful thing. Anyway, that's just a quick overview of some of the stuff in the sets. Well, there you go. Um, if you're a Keyforge fan, the only reason you watch this video is you want to see some new stuff anyway. So, um, that's what I showed you. I, so far, the Sauron seem okay. You know, I, I was kind of hoping for big giant dinosaurs. I mean, that's kind of what the aliens already do, so I guess they didn't want to copy that. Um, and I would like to see dinosaurs and aliens together. That's not possible. But in future sets, they said they'll take out a couple and add a couple back in. Who knows? Um, the Although, incidentally, the Star Alliance, I think, is my favorite of the, the two new factions a lot. I really like the theming of them. They're like Star Trek, if Star Trek actually was fun. And um, I'm kidding, Trekkies. Um, and uh, they, I like the idea of having the blasters. And I like the wards and the, the taunt. And I like what that adds to the game. So, yeah, at the end of the day, it's more Keyforge. At the end of the day, they're trying to get you to buy more packs so that you can have 65 decks of Keyforge. But at the end of the day, it's fun, and they keep innovating and adding more stuff to it. So there you go. I'm Tom Vassell. This has been my first impressions of Worlds Collide. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.